Do you have a daughter? How about a teen in general? Well, this story is one you just can't miss. According to the CDC, one in three have seriously thought about suicide. That's up almost 60% from a decade ago. In 2011, 36% of teen girls said they are having issues with sadness and hopelessness. 21% of teen boys said the same. In 2021, that number went up to 57% for girls and 29% for boys. While these are national statistics, this issue hits very close to home for us. That's why Trisha Sloma is sitting down with a suicide prevention expert to help us all learn a little bit more and hopefully save a life. Trisha, when you hear that 59% uh, number, if you have two girls, one of them is probably experiencing this. Yeah, it, it's happening so much in our community, very prevalent. And I'm joined now by the director of United Health Services Suicide Prevention Center, Kent Lauderman, good to see you today, Kent. Good to be here and glad for, uh, I'm glad that you have me here to talk about this. It's important an important subject. topic. You just heard the statistics. You're already well aware of it. Uh, suicide and suicide ideation among teenagers is on the rise. Do these numbers surprise you? No, you know, actually we were down in 2019, 2020, started to creep up in 2021 as you shared that data. Yeah. And there's even some new data out for 2022 that says we're even up more at a historical high as far as suicide deaths are concerned. Okay, so we need to talk about it. And so often parents don't want to talk about suicide with their teenagers because they don't want to somehow plant the seed. Tell us why that kind of thinking is dangerous. Well, I think the stigma is there for mental health as well as suicide. And we just got to get it out and make it open. Yeah. And if we can talk about it and recognize some of the signs and symptoms that's maybe happening for young people as well as adults, we could do something about it. I can save a life, you can save a life, we can save a life. Yeah, Kent, today happens to be National Depression Screening Day. I'm so glad you're here talking about this on this day. So let's talk about common warning signs for depression and suicide. Let's start with depression. You gave me some um, actual bullet points that we could share with our viewers today. We're gonna put all of them on our website, but let's talk about some of them. First, symptoms of depression. Symptom, you know, Think about your worst day. Yeah. And and you're really down, you can't concentrate, you're sleeping too much, you're gaining weight, you're losing weight, etc. You're angry at some points. Yeah. I mean your worst day, if this goes on for about two weeks or so, DSM Diagnostic Statistical Manual says you really ought to be getting help. Right. And so, we're we're looking at these on the screen right now. It's that persistent, sad, anxious feeling. And you mentioned sleeping too little, too much, that reduced appetite, maybe weight loss, weight gain, and that loss of interest. Again, it's persistent if this sticks yep. around. But you say it overlaps somewhat with suicide ideation. Well, Tell us about that. Well, that last bullet is thinking about suicide. Yeah, <laughs> And absolutely. the first symptom as far as suicide is, yes, thinking about suicide, looking for ways to die by suicide, looking for means. You might be Googling it on the, on the uh, internet. Uh, but your thoughts are really living with a mental and emotional pain that you have right now or getting rid of that and dying by suicide. Well, there is a race to save lives this weekend. I want to end with that information because there's so much more we could talk about. <laughs> but Howard Park is where you need to go. Let's put that up on the screen. It is Saturday at 9.30 a.m. is registration. The walk actually starts at 10 a.m. But you say there's a survivor support group at 11. Yeah, you don't have to register. You know, just please come out and we'll share with you some suicide prevention information as well as survivor kind of uh, efforts and, and things that we're doing. Folks, this is your director of United Health Services Suicide Prevention Center, and he has been joining us this morning. Kent, thank you for all you're doing. You're saving thank lives. You. you know that. Thank you. All right. I could save a life. You can save a life. We can save a life. Let's do it together, right? All right.